Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MBA. In today's tutorial, we are going to see a basic understanding about the Active ViewOS or ActiveOS. The reason we are going to see the ActiveOS is the nowadays many of the companies looking forward to use the BPM engine for the task management. Or the BPM engine is the old term we can say uh, called as a business process management. But nowadays, ActiveOS is specifically with Informatica, it's very helpful and used too. ActiveOS is a very uh, old company which actually took over by the Informatica recently in 2013. And that is the reason the what are the previous engine or the old engine for the task management that is called as BPM engine is no more used in the Informatica MDM. 10 points on more. So it's a good to have the understanding about the active was uh, as a going forward as an Informatica developer or architect. So what is active was? Active was is a service oriented process optimization platform and it is specifically designed to address the needs of the members of the IT team or IT project teams. Teams may involve like architect, developer, project manager, and some cases business users as well. So ActiveOS is a it is a service or it is a platform by using which we can achieve the task management. It is used to integrate the people, processes, and system, which ultimately increase in the efficiency and the visibility of the business. So in order to Channelize the process in order to coordinate with the people. Active was helps a lot. The earlier name of this product was Active Endpoint, or the Active Endpoint actually the earlier company who produced this Active was. Informatica acquired this company in 2013. So as like Informatica MDM, we actually configure the tables, natural tools, and other configuration. Similarly, we can develop and to configure the active OS components also. But as a part of the MDM configuration, we don't need to develop any components for the active OS. We have to just do some basic configuration and access the functionality of the active OS. If you are specifically looking for the active OS development, there may be a separate tutorials you can find online or there are so many videos available which are posted by the active endpoints earlier now it is named with the informatica now for as an informatica developer i don't think so we need to know the development knowledge about the active course so basic understanding is well in and enough so what are the application servers supported on act for active OS? ActiveOS can be configured on WebLogic, WebSphere, JBoss, and Apache Tomcat. However, if you remember, the Active, uh, the Informatica can be installed on the WebLogic, WebSphere, and JBoss, and not on Apache Tomcat. So ultimately, the fourth option, that is Apache Tomcat, strike out if you're going to use the ActiveOS with the Informatica. It is not necessary we have to use the ActiveOS the informatica tool only you can use any other application any other business application with the activos to integrate the task management so here is the uh, detailed view about the activos how it works with the informatica mdm so at the top layer we have the users such as employees domain experts integration developers and IT operations. Then we have the various components such as phone, ActiveOS Central that is desktop, guide designer, ActiveOS designer, ActiveOS console. Out of these components, phone, guide designer, ActiveOS designer are not required as an Informatica developer. However, we need to know the basic understanding of ActiveOS Center, that is desktop, and ActiveOS Console, which is more often used for the configuration of the task in the MDM. ActiveOS Center, that is desktop, 
it accessed the task processes and reports however the active was console it is nothing but the process administration management monitoring and the root cause analysis purpose there are custom applications like anchor application or the other application which continuously interact with this activos so activos can be used for the reporting policy and expression evaluation it can be also used to alert and event processing the task management escalation notification and ws human tasks can be achieved through the activos along with all the all those functionality it has the other functionality such as contribution de de uh, deployment management communication can be achieved through the ws jms rest json ejb and poser protocols internally it, it uses the ppm engines such as bpel and bpel for people so all these components run on the application server which we recently discussed that is web logic web sphere from that and jbs of course the activos has its own database that is called as a process database where the uh, the task management related metadata will be maintained so if you remember when you install activo was with your informatica tool you have to separately create the activo schema so that activo schema is nothing but what are the data or what are the metadata you are going to refer for the activos that will be stored in that schema so these are the details you have to keep in mind why we need the separate schema and what are the components what are the functionality we can achieve through the activos business processes the processes such as finance mechanics project managers customer care sales manager and this list is continuously growing so all this process man uh, process management can be achieved through the activos component it is not necessary we have to always use informatica tool to use activo first but the as a part of the mdm installation nowadays activo is come to the one of the component to install so whenever you are going to use the idd application for the task management it is easy to configure and install with my experience i have noticed a couple of issues with the activo os means there are of course the informatica support team helps to fix those but it is in like in a growing stage it is not at stabilized mode this is my personal opinion it's not like uh, everyone has their own opinion but it is a good tool to integrate with any system and it's very easy to and uh, configure and very easy to use i hope this tutorial will give you some rough idea about the active was to uh, activos process and the component I have. Uh, I'm going to upload some other tutorials about the activos, and uh, I hope this will definitely help you to understand the concept at deeper level. Thank you for watching my video, and if you have any questions about the activos or the MDM or any other technology, which uh, like such as Hadoop, Java, JavaScript, or web services, you can mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you, and have a nice time.